Welcome, everybody. Thanks so, much, thanks so much for coming out this evening. And welcome to Is There Hope for Democracy? <laughs> it's not a good sign. I'm your host this evening, Spencer Critchley. I want to start by thanking the Middlebury Institute of International Studies and its director of communications, Jason Warburg, and all of the staff here who have just been a wonderful help. And I'm going to get going right away and start by introducing our panelists. Former Congressman Sam Farr represented the Central Coast. <laughs> Congressman Farr represented the Central Coast in the House of Representatives for 24 years, following service in the California Assembly on the Monterey County Board of Supervisors and in the Peace Corps. And you know, I wrote down a list of just what some of what Sam has accomplished for the Central Coast and for the nation. And I realized that if I read it here tonight, we'd have very little time left to talk about anything else. So with apologies to Sam, I'm gonna summarize radically and say that much of what we treasure about the Central Coast today can be traced to Sam's dedicated work on our behalf, from Pinnacles National Park through protection of the ocean, the reuse of Fort Ord, including the creation of Cal State Monterey Bay, the VA hospital, the Veterans Cemetery, the list goes on and on and on. Sam is a graduate of Willamette University and what was then called the Monterey Institute of International Studies. Adrian Harris was a... Adrian brought some friends. Adrian Harris was a special assistant to President Obama for economic policy at the White House National Economic Council. She went to the White House from the US Department of Treasury where she served as senior advisor to the Deputy Secretary. Before that, Adrian was an associate at Sullivan and Cromwell LLP, a leading New York law firm. She served as an advisor to Cory Booker's 2013 Senate campaign and before that as deputy campaign manager for his mayoral re-election bid in 2010. That same year, she served as executive director of the transition for Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus R. Vance, Jr. Adrian worked as a press secretary in Pennsylvania on President Obama's first presidential campaign in 2008. From 2007 to 2008, she was a judicial clerk in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. Adrian earned her MBA from the New York University Stern School of Business with specializations in economics and management, her JD from Columbia Law School, where she was a member of the Columbia Law Review, and her BA from Georgetown University, where she was a John Carroll Scholar and graduated with honors. <laughs> Zach Friend. Zach is a policy, public affairs, and communications expert who has worked for Barack Obama and John Kerry's presidential campaigns, the White House Council of Economic Advisors, U.S. Senator Tom Daschle, former Congressman Sam Farr, and the Democratic National Committee. In June of 2012, Zach was elected to the Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors representing the 2nd District. Previously, Zach was the press information officer and a crime analyst for the Santa Cruz Police Department. He writes extensively and is the author of On Message, How a Compelling Narrative Will Make Your Organization Succeed. Zach has a master's degree in public policy from Georgetown University and a BA with honors in history from the University of California, Santa Cruz. <laughs> and I am a partner of Boots Road Group, which is a marketing communications firm for people making the world a better place. Among others, our clients include local and national government agencies, nonprofits, and socially responsible corporations. My background includes work for both of Barack Obama's presidential campaigns, sometime with Zach on Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016, and a lot of other political campaigns, including several for Congressman Farr. I've also been a journalist, which has included contributing to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, NPR, the Associated Press, and others 
In the early 90s, I was the news director at KUSP Radio in Santa Cruz. I spent about 10 years in Silicon Valley as a producer and creative director at a variety of interactive media firms. And before that, I was a composer and producer with Warner Chapel Music, the publishing arm of Warner Brothers. I have a BA in English from Dalhousie University and also studied at the University of Toronto, both in Canada. And I've won some awards and things, but I was born in Canada, and try as I might, I just can't read that stuff about myself, so let's move on. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's us. This evening we also want to hear from you, so while the four of us are talking, please take the opportunity to write any questions you may have on the cards we gave you as you came in. When you have a question written down, just hold it up to get the attention of one of our staff and pass it along the row so they can collect it. We'll respond to as many of your questions as we can during the Q&A section of the evening. Let's get started. And so my challenge for us all this evening is to wrestle with three simple but crucial questions. Where are we? How did we get here? And where are we going? So to my first question, where are we? Is this a crisis? <laughs> 